In the U.S. state of Texas, two men hide a child named Alton in the hotel with them, and their names are Roy and Lucas. We then know that Lucas is a police officer, and he helped his friend Roy to kidnap the kid. They all prepare to leave the hotel, because they see their photos in the news. And if someone sees them, he will report them to the police. They leave the hotel and the whole place, because they can't stay in the hotel anymore. While they are out riding the car, the receptionist sees them. But she is watching the news too, so she calls the police, and gives them the number of their car. On the way, Roy and Lucas hear their car's number on the radio. So, Lucas gets worried and afraid. But he changes the road, and they manage to escape. At the same time, we see a man named Calvin in his office. He has a charitable organization, and a religious activity called Ranch. Then, we know that Calvin is Alton's adoptive father, and he called the police about kidnapping him. When Calvin watches the news, he worries about Alton very much, but he wants to get to Alton first before the police. So, Calvin gives orders to one of his employees named Doak, and asks him to find Alton within four days only. Then, Calvin enters the meeting room. There are many members in the hall, and they sit to hear Calvin's religious sermon as usual. But suddenly, federal agents arrive and break into the meeting room. They arrest Calvin and his staff, as well as all the members of the ranch. Then, they take them by buses, and they take them to a schoolyard, because there are a lot of people. Meantime, Roy and Lucas are still on their way, and they are surprised by a car in the middle of the road, but Lucas manages to avoid it. Then, another car comes from the opposite direction, and hits the car in the middle of the road. Lucas gets out of his car quickly, to check on the other cars, and he finds a woman injured. At this time, the police car arrives by chance and stops next to them. The policeman then gets out of it. Lucas tells the policeman to call the ambulance. Before the policeman calls the ambulance, he realizes that Lucas one of the kidnappers. But Lucas fires at the policeman, and takes out his gun. Lucas hits him in the chest, because he knows that he is wearing a protective shield. And the policeman is injured, but he won't die. Then, Lucas tells the police station that there are an injured policeman and woman on the road, and tells them about the place in the accident. Then, he returns to his car, and they continue their way. Meantime, federal agents give forms to the members of the ranch, that they arrested to answer the questions. And most of the questions are about Alton. In a room at the school, Agent Miller investigates Calvin, asking him about the organization's activities. Calvin tells him that their activity is raising livestock and dairy farms, and that all these activities are for their own consumption, not for selling. Then, an agent from the National Security Agency named Paul enters the investigation. Paul asks Calvin about specific numbers and strange symbols he used to say in his sermons. But he tells Paul that these are really parts of his sermons, and that they are religious symbols from the Bible. Then, Paul confronts him and tells him that these numbers and symbols are codes for dangerous U.S. military secrets, and the U.S. government considers them an accusation of treason. He then accuses Calvin that he sends codes containing military secrets to other countries. When Calvin feels that the matter is dangerous, he confesses to him that Alton is used to saying these codes when he has panic attacks. Also, he tells him that Alton has supernatural abilities, and speaks many languages, and unknown languages. All members of the institution were following symbols of Alton, because they consider him the religious savior. But at that time, Paul feels that isn't logical at all, and still doubts Calvin that he sends military secrets through the codes, that he used to say during his religious sermons. Then. Calvin tells them that Alton is his adopted son, and he confesses to them that the real father of Alton is Roy, and he is currently kidnapping Alton. At this time, Paul thinks that they will easily arrest Roy and take Alton, but Calvin mocks him, telling him that he doesn't know Alton well. He says that Alton is really an unusual child, and they can't arrest him by force. Meanwhile, Roy and Lucas arrive at the house of a man named Eldon. Eldon was an employee at Ranch, he knows Alton and his superpower, and wants to help them. So, he welcomes them into his house, and he closes the windows of the house all with paper, because the sunlight affects Alton, and it makes him so tired. Then, Alton goes to sleep. Meanwhile, Eldon sits with Roy to review a map of a specific area. And Alton wants to go to this area, because a very big event will happen in it. By the way, Roy and Eldon believe Alton and trust him, as Calvin and the members of the ranch. On the second day, 
they watch the news, and they find that their photos are at the level of all states, not just Texas. Suddenly, Roy and Lucas feel an earthquake in the house. They go upstairs and are surprised that Eldon is sitting before Alton to take from him the rays that it gets out from his eyes. But Roy hits Eldon, and he faints. He then hugs Alton, because of the rays that come out of his eyes. Also, the earthquake made the papers on the windows fell, and the sun's rays entered and tired him too. Meantime, Paul starts investigating the employees of the ranch, and asks them about Alton. One of them tells Paul, that Alton has superpower abilities, and he can break windows and doors without touch them. Also, he can disable any number of cars. And as he gets older, his superpower will increase. Alton is a child among many children they care for in the ranch corporation, and they let him sleep all day and wake up all night because he is tired from the sun. Another employee tells Paul that Alton is getting rays from his eyes and that he sees a lot of strange things. Now, federal agents and Paul know all details about Alton. Meanwhile, Roy takes Eldon's car to continue their way, and they hide Lucas's car at Eldon's house so the police can't find it. On the way, Lucas is surprised when he sees that Alton knows what is being broadcast on radio stations in all languages, and he knows the news before he even hears it. Then, they enter a gas station, and Lucas enters the supermarket to buy food and drink for the road. At this time, Roy asks Alton not to leave the car. Then, he goes to call his wife Sarah, to tell her that they are on their way. But Roy sees Alton comes out of the car. Alton puts on dark sunglasses to protect his eyes from any light and rays. A woman sees him and thinks that he is lost. But Roy tells her that he is his father, so the woman walks away. And Alton says sorry to Roy. Suddenly, large pieces of a satellite exploded in space. And Lucas drives the car quickly, they then manage to run away from the gas station. After that, they go to Sarah, and she becomes so happy with her son Alton, because she hasn't seen him for a long time. Then, Sarah notices that Alton is bleeding from his nose, and Lucas suggests taking Alton to the hospital. But Roy tells him that they must take him to the exact place that Eldon told them about, and fears that if he takes Alton to the hospital, the police know where they are. At the same time, Calvin's assistants prepare themselves with guns to go to the house of Sarah's mother, and they want to know from her the address of her house, because they expect that Roy was going to her with Alton. Meanwhile, Miller and Paul are at the gas station to see the accident of the satellite, and they think that Alton is the one who fell the satellite. The satellite is working for preventing nuclear activities, and they doubt that Alton is helping another country to occupy America. They decide to follow Alton's rays through a drone, that can follow rays to arrest Alton. Now, the kid poses a great threat to national security for them. After that, Roy and Sarah are very worried, because they see the news of the satellite that fell on the gas station. So, they decide to leave a car in front of Sarah's house. And they take her car and escape quickly, because the police will surely know their place. On the way, Alton tells them that the police won't stop chasing him, but they must reach the place at the specified time. Meanwhile, Doak and Levi go to Sarah's house, but they don't find her there. At this time, Alton has a respiratory crisis, so Lucas wants them to take him to the hospital. But Roy refuses and they fight each other. Then, Alton is over from his breathing crisis, and he tells them that they must disperse now, because he knows when he looks into the sky that the feds and the police will reach them at this time. Alton then asks Lucas to take Sarah to the hotel and stay there. After that, he and Roy complete the path walking and shorten it from the middle of the forest, and they keep walking in the woods until they find a hiding place so they stay in this hiding place for the second day. Alton then tells Roy that he wants to stand during the sun's rays tomorrow. Roy warns him that this is dangerous for him, but Alton tells him that he wants to do that. Then, Roy agrees with him, because he trusts him so much. Meanwhile, Paul makes sure that the numbers don't show codes for military secrets at all. But later, he finds out that the numbers mean the places that Alton walks for. Then, Paul knows the place where Alton is now. The next day, Alton and Roy stay inside the cave until sunrise. And Alton watches the sunrise for the first time in his whole life. He is a little bit tired and the whole earth is shaking. But he can open his eyes without his sunglasses. After that, 
Roy and Alton return to Sarah and Lucas at the hotel where they are staying. And Lucas is surprised when he sees Alton walking during the day in the sun without sunglasses. So, Alton talks to them and explains to them that he belongs to another world, and that his world is under their world. Then, he says that he must return to the people in the other world, because they are similar and have abilities like him. When Roy and Lucas go outside to continue their way, they are surprised by Doak and Levi at the door of the room, and they fire at them. They hit Roy and Lucas, then tie their hands and take Alton. After that, Sarah helps Lucas and Roy, and they ride the car then walk behind Doak. But they find the road very crowded, and they also find soldiers from the army and the police in the middle of the road. Roy tries to take a short road to catch up with Doak and Levi's car, but the army forces force him to go back to the road again, and they notice that Doak and Levi's car is empty, so they knew that the army took Alton. At this time, Roy feels that he will never see Alton again. Inside a large investigation room, Alton is there with Paul, and officers from the army and federal agents. They all want to investigate him, because Alton is a dangerous weapon for them. But Alton asks them all to go away and leave Paul to talk to him only. Paul is surprised by this order, and all officers go out. He sits with Alton and sees his eyes enlightened. Alton then explains to him that he belongs to another world, and he must get out of here in this world on March 6th to go to the other world. Then, there are people who will take him there at this time. So, Paul agrees with Alton and decides to help him. Meanwhile, Alton knows that Roy and Sarah are on the street, because he has abilities that let him know everything, and that they have a public phone nearby. After a little, Paul calls Roy on this public phone, and he tells Roy to meet him in a far place to take Alton again. They are very happy, and leave at the exact time and place to take Alton, and they reunite again. But Paul wants to hit himself in the face, to show that Roy hit him and snatched Alton. The group then meets an army ambush, but they manage to escape, and reach the place that Alton tell about it. It's the day of March 6th, and Alton gets out of the car, and goes to the exact place. Suddenly, the ground starts to shake under them, and strange buildings appear under the ground. All people see them and are surprised. Transparent people come down from these buildings, and take Alton with them. Thus, Alton returns to his real world. The army then arrests Roy. But he is happy, because his son is now in the place where he belongs. Thanks for watching, take care, and see you in the next video. Big dog status, I'm a big dog, bitch. I pull up on the block, you